nobody wants to deal with somebody oh you know what i have target and then you know that unconsciously to be pushing the customer you need to buy now otherwise it's going to get sold we never say that we never do that even though i know it's the last unit i never use that phrase if you don't buy it now it's going to get sold never because that just goes to show that i am in that stressful position to have that closure so we as a team we set certain values or certain way of conducting our business is when you are happy when you're content in the mind you can easily communicate with anyone everybody likes happy people so especially when we meet somebody outside if we're happy not necessary business we can talk about a lot of more other things families and kids and activities and more about dubai and that's how you build a relation when you build a relation you don't need to stress they will come and buy from you automatically so i think it's it's a whole process as to how the selling goes it's just not you get a product you get a knowledge and start selling no it's a whole process of building that relation i'll give you an example so i've been dealing with this gentleman for the past 3 years and uh two and a half years uh we've met a couple of times i've i've flown down to his country he's come down here i only focused on how i could build my relationship more strong with him his family and his kids i never ever counter questioned him that we've met so many times why are you not buying from me never so he knows that i'm in that business that's how we actually initially were connected for a property inquiry but i never ever asked him that question two and a half years down the line now our total relationship years is 3 years he comes to me and says listen i think i've now made up my mind post covid i want to buy a property i said amazing wow so whenever you're in dubai just let me know he comes down and buys one of the most expensive assets from us so for me i was like what made more value it's the relation he said okay so i've got four options which one do you suggest so we had the most expensive then the third and the second i said no need to buy that one i think we can go for this one so i said okay now that we have the relation and i know who you are i think whatever you say makes sense let's go ahead i believe in your judgment of course he did his due diligence as well but i think that relationship that patience the happiness i think made a lot of difference because when we would we would meet i would never be stressed like why are you not buying right now the market is hot because that's what the other agents would pressure as him to do so and in fact he would even call me and said hey listen you know what the other agent called me up and he said there's an amazing offer i said it could be but in my opinion it's not an amazing offer but hey you know if he's offered you why don't you go and buy it it's amazing i mean if you like it then why not he said no 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 leave it so i never pressured him and said hey no 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 i have the same why don't you buy from me no never so i think it's a, it's a process of dealing with you know people because when i say i'm a people's person it's easy to sell but it's difficult to build a relationship so what is your goal long term or short term if it's short term then focus only on quick sell get the money and you're out but if it's long term relationship is the only thing which can help you succeed if you don't succeed now 5 years 6 years 7 years 10 years maybe the 15th year you will succeed and you'll outpass all the other competitors so i think one needs to decide if it's a short term goal or long term goal because when markets get really dynamic money gets bigger people want to cash in fast and just move so that that's a short term we don't believe in short terms